Now, anticipatory bail. <laughs> I'll still go with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We held our fourth Nairobi IG tour, a crazy 24-hour tour of the city. We decided to theme this experience around some of Nairobi's iconic rooftops. We were 25 in total, and we woke up pretty early to catch a sunrise at our first stop, KICC. The sun didn't cooperate too much, however but Nairobi is still definitely a morning person. The Kenya tourism board were nice enough to hook us up with a sumptuous breakfast on the rooftop, laid out and served on the helipad. Up until 1980, there was actually a restaurant at the top floor that revolved 360 degrees in 76 minutes. All right. Okay. <laughs> Everybody just take one step forward. Big step. <laughs> Perfect, <laughs> yes. Switch up again. Me, I love my Robin. Roll call, roll call. After breakfast, our next stop was the August 7th Memorial Park in downtown Nairobi. The site of a terrorist attack on August 7th, 1998. The attack, orchestrated by Al-Qaeda operatives, and of which the American embassy was a prime target, killed 212 Kenyans, 12 Americans, and injured 5,000 more people. 2018 was the 20th anniversary of the attack. Yep. The guys at Mondoride ensured that we wouldn't need to worry about rights, which was pretty cool and came in handy during the night. Welcome to Bowbox. And then it was time for some games at this new spot in Westlands, Bowbox, a nifty board game cafe, the first of its kind in Kenya. They have 200 games to choose from, so that's about 200 different ways of ending your friendships and relationships. If you think Monopoly creates tense competition, <laughs> you haven't played Kenya at 50. A trivia game featuring nuggets of knowledge on Kenya, spanning all sorts of topics. It was hilarious, to say the least. It was pretty easy to tell who wasn't paying attention in history classes. And then there were those who were just plain simply showing off. Hey, what's up? So it's lunchtime and we're all the way here in Spring Valley. Uh, there's this new restaurant, uh, La Rioja Tavern. And uh, actually, let me get what La Rioja means first. La Rioja. Another part of Spain. Uh. It's a very, oh, it's a place in Spain. It's a place in Spain. Uh. It's, a, it's a winery place in Spain. It's a winery place in Spain. Exactly. La Rioja. Exactly. Are you from La Rioja? No, no, I'm uh. from close to Valencia. No. <laughs> La Rioja is in the north of Spain, and, okay. and I am from the Mediterranean Sea. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm Brian. Nice to meet you. Patrick. Patrick. Good to see you. Uh, good to see you too. Yeah, so uh, this is La Rioja, and La Rioja means uh, it's a town in Spain. And uh, our chef Patrick is cooking a specialty dish, uh, La Pajea. Uh, actually, I think it's Palea. I think that's, uh, that's how you say it. It's some form of chicken with stew and veggies. And uh, it's a specialty dish from Valencia. And uh, that's what we're having here in, uh, for lunch.
They say you shouldn't swim after a heavy meal, but whoever they are, they clearly didn't have a rooftop swimming pool. Kingfisher Nest in Westlands is a cool place to stay the night and enjoy views of the Nairobi skyline. And we thought it would be pretty cool to spring up a surprise guest for everybody. Where's your favorite place to hang out in Nairobi? Oh my god, my favorite place. <laughs> I would say my house. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because you... my house, I, I think I have everything I have in my house. I love, like I need in my house. Uh -huh. It's so peaceful. Uh -huh. I can do what I want to do in my so house. So you like peace and quiet? Yes, yes. Oh, but you, I see you in a lot of environments <laughs> where there's a lot of noise and people. Yes, so I is know. that a different Agi or? Um, I think there are so many sides of, to Agi mm -hmm. or who Agi is. Uh -huh. But um, when I'm working, uh -huh. I love that. The noisy place. The yeah. noisy place. Kipita. Yeah, when I'm working, yeah. But besides work, uh -huh. Agi is a quiet person. So is this who quiet? Loves who loves peace? Is, is this quiet Agi or work Agi? This is quiet Agi. This is quiet Agi. How is how is how is how is work Agi? How is how is she? Oh well, working Agi is I think she's very hype. She's a very different person. Yeah. Uh wild, she loves what she's like doing what makes her happy uh -huh. and she loves when people are smiling when she's doing what so you like making people happy mm -hmm. is, yes, yes, do yes. you use dance as a way to make people happy yes dance is what uh like personally makes me happy yeah and for me to make other people happy i have mm -hmm. to be happy first yeah okay so like that energy has to translate to you what would you say is your best dance move you know, every any time you do it, every anyone just goes, you know, wow, that is Aggie, the dance queen. Wow. Um, I would call myself a contemporary kind of dancer. Mm -hmm. I do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right now, if you give me a challenge, I'm going to do it. Whether it's hard, whether it's simple, I'm going to do You're it. You're going to do it. Yes. Wow. What's yes. your favorite music? Do I have any? <laughs> I think I was told dancers are never supposed to choose ah. because when you choose, then you choose what you want to dance to. Really? Yes. Okay. But if you want to be a great dancer, you just be receptive. Whatever comes your way, take it and just breathe in and say, okay, fine, I'm going to dance to this, even if it's like, isn't it? You know, a lot of times alcohol makes me want to dance. That's the only thing. What do you think about that? <laughs> Does your dancing improve with alcohol or it goes down? Do I take alcohol really? No, I don't. You don't take alcohol? Okay, okay. You don't need alcohol to dance well. I don't need alcohol to okay, dance. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I always appreciate it when people take alcohol and it gives like confidence. Uh -huh. Me, and I think my confidence it comes naturally because dance has taught me to be confident. Do you think you're a better dancer than me? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. You know, you think I'm better than you? Yeah. What? Why would you? So every time you go to a challenge, you have to believe your challenger is the best at what you do. So you can't go overconfident like, man, Mimi, I anyways, you know, you can't. You always have to be calm, uh -huh. just to wait for them to showcase. Then you tell yourself, hey, thank God, hey, I think I'm, I'm better than them. You know, I follow you on Instagram. Actually, the correct word is I stalk you on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> In a nice way. <laughs> but uh, these this, this, this videos you post, like you try and teach yes. us non-dancers how to dance and it's very intense i try and follow then i get frustrated then i almost unfollow you hmm. but you know I, <laughs> there's something pushing you to i, I compose yeah. myself I then know. i just see how you're dancing so so effortless you know how, how can i how can i how can i be like that um i think everything is it's all in your mind it's all in your mind yes basically okay. i would say that it's all in your mind because Instagram has so many, like it's very few minutes. I can't teach you to the roots. Uh -huh. So you have to 
maybe follow me on YouTube to okay. see the full version of the video. Yes. Or you have to call me as a person okay. to give you the lessons. I think I prefer the second option. Yes. Yes. I teach you here. So Private lessons. Do. Private lessons. Like like yes. the ones we're about to do right now. Wow. Yeah. This is a CMG production. They call me Kid Willie. Yes, she's Siri. I'm the next big thing, of course, not Siri. Walla Walli, hey, please stop being silly. I'm a kid with a dream. After shilingi, wali dhani sita make But now niko kwa TV Wengi wali hate, wana jiskiza kwa CD My hate on kabidonda, na mindi o GV I'm the man for the job, boss check out my CV So kona jifanya mreel, hapana tambua Una make goma to feel, hapana tambua Na kusho vile na feel vile na tambua Jukani kume kids, buda na jitambua Hapana tambua Hapana tambua Hapana tambua Tambua, tambua, tambua Now, I know what you're thinking. Aggie clearly destroyed the boys in the dance-off, but hey, no regrets. We had a great time. Some of us actually had too great of a time, in fact. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Now the funny thing with every single Nairo B.I.G. tour thus far is that the party always rages on into the night and early morning because hey, it's 24 hours. But we never really get a chance to document most of the nightlife because of um... Uh, <laughs> I actually can't think of a reason. Well this time, we blame it on the Martel Cognac. And remember this guy? Yeah, we blame him too. But that's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs>